Guys, look at this thing, it's massive! I even have to film in wide lens, which I don't normally do. Dinosaur age. Age is 14 plus. Oh man, that might be an issue. Just look at it guys, this looks so cool. You guys can pause if you want to read. Anti-tilt push rod design. It is the new 1.7 scale MK07 from Rolalo. I believe we got the gray black one. Again, some more information. Remote visual operation. Is this like FPV or something? Guys, I believe this is one of only 500 ever made, so I'm thankful to, to be able to review one of these on the channel. I think as for reviewers, they're only giving out like 10 or something, I'm not sure. However, I feel it's only right that you guys also get a chance to get your hands on this. So, what I'm gonna do guys, is I'm going to give one lucky winner the chance to win this. I'm actually gonna raffle this off. I'm gonna leave links in the description where you can enter. Tickets will be capped, so get in quick. Again, this is only gonna be one of 500 models that they're making. Thing, as far as I'm aware. Hey guys, it truly is an awesome way to support the channel so we can make more videos. Now let's get the box open and see what it's all about. What's in the box? Let me know if you got that reference. Heaps and heaps of bubble wrap. Oh, excuse me guys. All right, someone's been sneaking into my package. Big instruction manual, stickers, and some tools. Gosh, this is so big. Don't be dirty. And the transmitter. Look at that. It's the one with the LCD screen. Man, this thing is gigantic. And look at that suspension. <laughs> Even these body clips are huge, which there's two under here that you gotta take out. And then it just kind of tilts up. Well, wow, okay. You can see all the electronics are attached. Man, this thing's got like 300 servos on it. Look at that brushed motor, man, that is huge! Okay, this motor is absolutely massive, but on camera it's kind of hard to make that claim. This is a 32mm regular size motor. Yeah, it's pretty big. I believe this is a 48mm 1650kV, and it's about on par with that, so this is like massive. Okay guys, on closer inspection, you can see here you got the nice aluminium parts, like the suspension. You've got, I believe, five servos. So this one here, which I believe is for like gear changing, or maybe it's that one down there. I don't really know, to be honest. Then you got another servo here, another servo here, and then of course your main steering servo just there. Massive motor, as we just discovered. And here is your gearbox. And then on top, you're going to have your battery tray. You've got that H-rail, which is, I believe, aluminium, as well as all these plastic mud guards. Don't forget about that. On the inside here, we have some scale detail in cup holders and seats. Here is your rack, snorkel, LED lights, and Tomley's favorite, some indicators. Some more accessories at the rear. Okay, guys, just a disclaimer. Uh, the car does not come with this battery. This is what Rolalo sent me to test. So I had a battery to put in it, and I guess this is just part of their marketing, as well as the armor set here. So these are like a steel kind of plate for the rear, the center, the front, and also the bumper. So you're not gonna get that either, as well as this brass set here. These are like brass weights that you can see in the wheels just here. This is obviously going to make it perform a lot better. So unfortunately guys, they did send this with the car and on the car. So I guess the performance of this versus the stock vehicle out of the box is maybe going to be slightly different. However, like I said, I am letting someone win this bad boy. So it is going to come with all of that installed. It's kind of hard to see, but as you can see, the steering servo has some type of like piston rod instead of a servo saver. So I'm guessing there's some type of hydraulic fluid in there. That is really neat. I haven't personally seen that done before. I'm sure it's not the first time, obviously, but I thought it was pretty cool and I wanted to show you guys. Say, what's that? A four pole barouched motor. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison with the Gigama. I didn't really have any kind of crawler to compare it with. So, and this is a 1.8 scale Truggy. This is a 1.7 scale crawler. And in terms of height, this one towers it. So this one actually has a bigger feeling to it. It's kind of hard to describe. So guys, that is enough for e and Let's get out there and take it for a spin.
It might be a little pointless to do a <laughs> speed test on a crawler, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So track start, and uh, this is low gear, and it's not even registering. There we go. All right, <laughs> that is full throttle. I don't know how much of a run up we're gonna need, guys, but maybe just enough to, you know, turn it around and uh, zoom on past. I'm gonna take a nap, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> of course, this is what it's meant to do, guys. But I think that's plenty. <laughs> All right, guys, let's check it out and hit stop and read. And we got five kilometers an hour. And we put it into the fast mode. And go for it. <laughs> okay, so it's definitely a bit faster. But that's okay, guys. It's just a crawler. Read. And we went eight kilometers an hour. Wow, guys, this thing is massive. <laughs> Look at it. We're currently in two wheel drive. So this is at the rear. And then, of course, you can put it into front wheel drive or all wheel drive. And and it goes really slow. And we are going to tackle these awesome hills. Let's get it. Oh, not a problem. Easy peasy. Come on. Come on, nice and slow. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, I was so close. Get up this, we're in two wheel drive at the moment. Definitely not gonna work, let's try four wheel drive. Go back a bit, forward again. Oh, so much easier, guys. See how we go getting up there? It's much easier, this has a, how long? We are in four wheel drive. It's pretty steep. Nice and easy. This bit here might be a bit of a challenge. What am I saying, guys? Too easy. It doesn't seem like it on camera, guys, but this is steep. We are in four drive. It's even hard to walk up. <laughs> Alright, I think we're going to have to go around this log. Yes, we made it. Guys, if you want to win this beast, links will be in the description as always. And also, if you want to check out technical specs, you can check out Rolala's website, which I will also link in the description down below. This MK07 is an absolute monster and one awesome RC crawler. I was definitely hoping to get a longer video in today. However, it's a little bit late. Mosquitoes getting out and well, well, I like RC cars. They like me. So, so until the next video, I love you all. Peace out. Bye.